Welcome to Innovative Codes. My name is Imran Iqbal and today we are going to learn that if you write something on a paper and you throw it away and after a while you want to use that text on a crumbled document like that if I want to use text written on it somewhere like on a plain paper uh, on a vintage paper then how I can do that it's very easy let's get into it for that purpose uh, we need a tool named as Adobe Photoshop after opening a Photoshop what will I do I will just import my document by pressing a ctrl plus O key just browse out my crumbled document and open it into the Photoshop after opening it you can see the text is written in the red color so what will I do I will select that red color for that I will go to the menu bar I choose the select option then scroll down and use a color range after selecting that I will select the color sample tool and here you can see there are the shares on the paper so firstly I will fetch the color from its start point and how will I do that let me show you firstly I will use the first eyedropper tool okay I will just select the red color then I will use a second eyedropper tool with the plus symbol okay I will add the multiple shades of the red color to this sample color okay I will just drag it and here you can see on that area the text is getting more visible and here we go just like that slow and steady just like that now what will I do I will go to the bottom of the page and fetch more shades of the red color because uh, the shades of red color at the bottom are different due to the shadow on the paper just like this and here you can see I will copy it and open and paste on the plain paper I will open a plain paper into the Photoshop and by pressing a control plus a V key I will paste that text on that paper and here you can see it's very easy now if you want to paste the same text on a vintage paper and play more with it how you can do that just press a control plus O key I download a vintage paper from the internet and uh, I will paste the text on it I will resize it by pressing the control plus D key then press the control 0 and I will resize it just like that adjust it a little bit zoom it and here you go now it's time to blend it to the linear burn and boom it's very simple so if you like this video make sure that you subscribe this channel if you have any query then you can comment us or email us till then stay safe stay happy